Okay, here's the uh, 23 we're looking at playing. Um, I decided not to play Lava Axe and instead play the Volcanic Dragon. Um, pretty much I want every other card here. Um, we are going to be trying to be playing first and being very aggressive. I think that one Guardian's Pledge is going to go a long way to really ending some games if we can get some of our Air Force down. But um, I think the Dragon is a little stronger than the Lava Axe in this deck. Um, I could be wrong, but having the extra body um, sometimes can really make the difference. And um, Okay, so for land, I'm thinking 9-8 um, with uh, planes, yep, and um, 8 mountains. So we will see you for round 1. Okay, here we are for round 1. Uh, we're definitely going to be on the play. And um, this hand looks just fine. Uh, hopefully we can draw into a few more um, creatures, but with 17 in the deck, I think there's a pretty fair chance. So we're going to go ahead and keep and hopefully pick up a uh, turn two Pegasus. Okay, that's not the worst. And we have all three of our pacifisms, okay. Our opponent is most likely holding a mana leak. Um, as a result, I think it's a little better to run out the Pegasus just to see if we can bait him into it. Okay, so I guess all is clear. And that's exactly what we want to see here. So that we can run out the uh, Gorhorn Minotaurs. A little worried about how many cards he's got in hand, but at the same time, I think we just uh, just bash here. And unsummon is just fine. At this point, he might have the cancel. Um, not a whole lot of reasons he would run that out. So I think we're just going to run out the Stormfront Pegasus and just try to maybe get, wait till his mana is tied up. Most likely at this point I'm putting him on Mana Leak, but I think it's fine to, well, hmm. I think we actually just wait here. Like, we've got advantage. Um, he's obviously, I think, waiting to cancel something. We're in no hurry to rush out the Minotaurs. If he plays a creature like a flyer, we just pass Vism it. Now we've got uh, Mana Leak covered. And that's fine.
Okay. Didn't even need to play one pacifism. Looks good. So for blue white, who what do we bring in? Um, let's see here. Goblin Tunneler may not be the worst call here. I think it's actually gonna be pretty good, just because um, if we're up against opposing flyers, being able to sneak our Pegasus through is gonna be a big deal. Um, other than that, I think Pledge does a lot of work here. Hmm. I think we can actually. Hmm. Maybe cut a Warhorse. Like I still like Arsonist quite a bit. And I mean, like Warhorse just gets blocked by two fours on the ground, so I think we just do that and it looks good. Um, probably gonna mulligan this hand. We really want to make sure we have mana for both colors. Like I do have pacifism, however, um, I'd like to have a red source. This is a much better hand. No reason to just throw a game away. I mean, yes, we have two cards we can't play, but we do have both colors of mana. And Fire Slinger into Stormfront Pegasus is kind of a beating. If we draw a land, like this hand just gets absurd. Okay, that makes a pretty funny pacifism target. Certainly fine with that. Land. Okay, so that's just ridiculous. Yeah, we're just curving out here. Um, got the pacifism back up. Yep, definitely just going to pacifism here. Okay, so Peregrine Griffin is pretty good. Guardian's Pledge is still a blowout, though. It's like we attack with both. If he blocks here, that's fine. Um, he's probably gonna, probably going to fall for it. I don't see why not, at least. Yep. That's fine. If you want to replay a 1 1, I'm totally okay with that. Ugh, that's actually kind of disgusting. I mean, I don't think it's going to be enough, but it is annoying. And then, like, next turn, if we draw a land, it's got to be game. Not sure what he's got here. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but you know, but it's it's d dealable.
So if we rip land, we win. That works too. I will accept that. And that's the match. We will see you for round two.